Here I will show you a nice quick way to find the factors of this trinomial. And what's cool about it is that you don't have to worry about the coefficient of the first term being one or not. You can just leave it as it is. So what we do is we find the factors of the first term and they can be here for this 12, it could be one and 12, it could be two and six, it could be three and four. We'll start with three and four. And then you find the factors for the last term. It could be one and six, two and three, three and two. We'll try three and two. Then you cross multiply. Four times three is 12. Three times two is six. When you add these together, do they add up to the middle term? No, this is 17 and this is 18. So we'll these aren't the factors. We'll try again. Three, four, and this time I'll flip these. Two and three. Cross multiply. Four times two is eight. Three times three is nine. When you add these together, do they add up to the middle term? Yes, they do. They add up to 17. So then these are the factors. So you have 3x plus 2 and 4x plus 3. So these are the factors for this trinomial. And what's cool about it is we didn't have to worry about the first term. It doesn't have to be a 1. We can just go straight to it. So let's check this to make sure it's right. I'll rewrite it up here. 3x plus 2 and 4x plus 3. So 3 times 4 is 12. So 12x squared. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 9x plus 8x. The last one plus 6. So this adds up to 12x squared plus 17x plus 6, which is the original trinomial. Simple as that. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe.